I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some very important questions on polynomial functions which will help you to get good marks in your test. They may also help you for uh, the practice test on new SAT format. The question here is find the sum of roots for the function p of x equals to x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 6 if 1 plus i is one of the roots. Now it is important to understand that we are dealing with the domain of complex numbers, right? So, so we know x belongs to complex numbers. Now if 1 plus i is a root, that means 1 minus i is also a root, right? So, so that means we already have two roots. And we also know that cubic function, or let me write the equation, will have three roots, correct? Now we have two complex, we are looking for, uh, that means uh, one real root, correct? So we have to figure out what is that real root. Now you know the sum of 1 plus i and 1 minus i is already 2. So we are expecting something more than 2, right? Or, you know, it could be 0 is not a valid number because we have 6 here, correct? So 0 will not give us 0. We have 6 minus 6 here. So we are looking for something which is, which is real, right? So let's see what it could be. Now, to get the roots, we can look for possible roots from our knowledge of factor theorem which says that rational zeros could be factors of minus 6. So we're looking for plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3 and plus minus 6. Now these are factors of 6, correct? So possible roots will be factors of 6. Correct. Now let's look into these one by one. So you can actually, if you have a calculator, you can find what p of 1 is, what p of 2 is, what p of 3 is. Likewise, whatever gives you 0 will be a root, right? So if I write 1 here, I get 1 minus 5 plus 8 minus 6. Now positive 9 minus 11 not equal to 0. If I write 2 here, 8 minus 4 times 5 is 20, 2 times 8 is 16, and minus 6. So negative is 26, positive is 24. So that is also not equal to 0. Now if I write 3 here, I get 27. 9 times 5 is 45. 3 times 8 is 24 and then minus 6. Now, so if you add these two positive quantities, you get 54 or 51 and here also it is 51 minus, so this is equal to 0. So we know that x minus 3 is, is a factor, correct? So now we know the third root also, correct? Which is at 3. So now let's add sum of roots will be 1 plus i plus 1 minus i and then we have 3. So if you add plus and minus i we cancel so we get 1 plus 1 plus 3 which is 5. So the answer is d which is 5. Does it make sense to you? So these questions are very important kind of tricky at times. So I hope this solution helps you to understand how to provide solution of these in the test. Thanks for watching and all the best.